Michael, if you, the, the fact is, the Caribbean does, you know, all over the Caribbean. There's um, Jamaica right now, our major organization, my two colleagues from Kafan is here with me, from Trinidad, from Grenada, and our partner, Cardi. The, our major organization, Jamaica Aquaculture Society team, is Eat What You Grow. And they have one of the biggest show, which is coming up in August. In Barbados, they make no bones about promoting the use of local foods. All over the Caribbean is done. But the, the, the reality is that a large percentage of fr our seasonal fruit goes to waste because we have not been capturing them. Okay, about nearly 60% of our mangoes and fruits and things like that. The other thing also is that in terms of the link with the tourism sector, we have made a breakthrough in countries like St. Lucia, not only with the tourism, with the hotels, but also with the supermarket, by showing that we can produce commodities more cheaper in our region um, than they are importing. Because at the end of the day, the people who trade business are not going to do your favor. They're not interested in that. You have to show them they could save money. That's business, OK? We could be as sentimental as we want at the end of the day. So how we show them that was that if our, our organization, like in St. Lucia, our farmers group, were able to develop a system of delivering fresh products. So at first, they said, no, this couldn't be. But then, you know what? When we show them the savings they're making in storage, which is so high, they were actually saving 30% by buying local because they were not calculating the storage cost, which is very high, electricity, very high in the Caribbean. So what I'm saying is that apart from the sentimental issues about that we know we need to promote local, etc., from a business perspective, we in Kafan have proven that it is very, very feasible and we can compete with the imported food. And that is what all. We're not asking for handouts. We're not asking for fun. We are saying, give us an equal chance. And we'll show you we can do it. And we have done it in St. Lucia, in Jamaica, in a lot of other countries, because it is part of the government policy and because we have done it practically on the ground.